I uh, I came here because of someone who I love very much, or two people, my daughter and my sister, who has a very dear friend who is a blessed person, Betta, which all I love you know and love. And when I found out about this event, as you know, I wanted to be here also. It's turned out to be something overwhelming. No one expected this. This is a special night. I want to tell you, other than having a great time, because that's what we're here for, no pressure. We're here to have a great time. We're having just great music, friends, a lot of people that are just beautiful and uh, enjoying ourselves. And these are the moments that we will remember. This is the blessings of life. So for Betta and all the sponsors and everybody who's here making this possible, I'd like to have a round of applause for them, please. We are trying to raise money for children. And I just want to give you just a few, listen, my, we talked about my grandfather, we talked about the history of my family, but over a hundred years ago, there was a young little immigrant at the age of 15 that arrived in a ferry from Cuba to Key West to be able to make a few cigars because that's what his family did. So that he could help his family back in Cuba who were struggling. And we're not talking about the recent revolution. We're talking about the Spanish-American War. This little boy came to Key West and started making cigars and sending money back home. Could you imagine? He had no one. 15 years old, those were men. They did what they had to do to help family. He arrived in this little island and made cigars. And years later, he went back to, to visit his family. But he got the taste of one of the most amazing things in life. You know what that is? It's called the American Dream. The American Dream. That young man came back to Key West and from there moved up to Tampa 